Good morning, guys. Well, in yesterday's video, I was picking up some oak that I milled up. And while I was doing that, I was also picking up a bunch of cedar for the fire pit structure. Today, my mission in life is to make a bunch of four by sixes. And then I believe yesterday I taught myself how to cut common rafters on YouTube. So we're gonna put that theory to the test. I'm gonna mock up one of the rafters for this project and make sure that I know what the heck I'm doing before I get out there. And I might even pre-cut everything and pre-drill everything before I take it out there just to simplify the process once I get there. So uh, let's get after it. Now in my effort to get the most out of this log, I'm starting out with, I have a, I have kind of a flat spot on this side of the log, which gives me a nice wide surface to reference from. And if I'm making four by sixes, I got six inches here. And I might, I might get nine inches across or nine inches up and down, and that would give me a four by six here, here, and one across the top. But, uh, or no, that's not right at all. We'll delete that part, ouch.
Well, this thing looks like a hot mess from this side, but this side of the log is pretty straight. And I think I have a good chance, if I can cut this ugliness off, which I can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the flare out of it. And then I think there's probably a good chunk of lumber in this portion all the way down. Let's see if I can, uh, this one might take a minute. That didn't go bad at all. I think there's a lot of wood right here. Well, I've got 12, 12 foot, well, a little over 12 foot long four by sixes, and I've got quite a few eight footers that uh, I'm gonna use for my knee braces and uh, any other small pieces that I need. So that should do it for the lumber that I need. Now I need to start cutting it and, and uh, doing a mock-up of my rafter and see if I know what the heck I'm doing. I'm gonna do as much of this angle cutting as I can at home. In my last video, you saw where I was using my, my new cordless uh, circular saw, which worked great, but with this chop saw, I'll be able to do it in one pass. It'll be a lot easier set up and execution, so I'm gonna do what I can right now. You can hear the saw struggling, it's because I, I don't have a, a heavy duty enough extension cord, so I'm gonna go put a different cord on this thing so I don't ruin the saw and uh, I get the power I need. Well, I'm all loaded up. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna head back over to the project site and uh, start putting some of these timbers up. 
I changed my mind about pre-cutting the rafters, at least initially, until I get the top of it all set up and squared up and make sure that my measurements are what I think they are. So once I get the, the base of the structure completely built and in place, then I'll measure out what my rafters need to be. I'll lay out and cut from there just to make sure I don't, uh, I don't screw up on any of this valuable lumber. Well, it's tomorrow and I am back on site. My first order of business is gonna to be to get those 12 foot four by sixes, 12 and a half foot up on top of the uh, posts. And then I'm going to cut the 10 footers that are gonna string across to length and get those installed. Ran out of height. Now I'm not even gonna try and explain what I'm doing here. Uh, I just watched a YouTube video and uh, I'm trying this for the first time. I'm using a speed square or pocket square, whatever you wanna call it. I'm, I'm laying out a, a pitch of a six, 612 roof. So for six inches of, there's six inches of rise for every 12 inches of run. And uh, well, let's just see what happens here. Looks like rafters. 
We'll see if they fit. Well, I had to make some real minor adjustments to my rafter cuts. Um, basically just the plumb cut at the top. I was off by about an inch and a half on both sides. Not a huge deal, simple fix. Um, it's hard to believe that a lot of this lumber was logs yesterday. It's really cool. But uh, so far the, the uh, client is pretty happy and I'm waiting for them to get home to approve the pitch that I've come up with for the roof. And if they like it, I'm gonna cut up the uh, the four by sixes for the rafters at home and then I'll bring them out get them put up and uh, next we'll be get the the metal on the roof and build the the steel chimney I appreciate you guys watching we'll uh, we'll see you soon